So, the house is in place, all the workers just left, and I thought you and I would have a walkthrough to see uh, what the house looks like. So, let's go in. So, things are quite messy in here, and you're going to notice a lot of uh, flaws in sheetrock, but that'll all be fixed. So, this is our living room. It's got a wood-burning fireplace over here. Very exciting. I'm glad that we have this because with as, many, as much woods as we have, it'd be crazy not to uh, have one of these. So, very exciting there. So, this room is a little smaller than I was expecting. Uh, we'll probably have to have our couch a little back over here and then maybe uh, put the TV up on that wall. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we could have a difference in uh, winter and summer furniture. So when you first walk in, there is a half bath in here. Toilet on this side and a uh, sink on this side. So when we have guests over, they don't have to go all the way around the house to get into that. Let's go back here to the master bedroom. So, it's a good size room for sure. Uh, these nice big windows that overlook the future garden spot. Um, this is what's made Ashley very happy, is having a very large walk-in closet. Um, has these nice shelves all the way around. And then a uh, crawl space up there to the attic. So you can see, uh, here's a good example of a flaw where that sheetrock shoots across there. You'll have to fix all that. We were warned that with all the twists and turns coming in the road, that was going to happen. So here is the master bath. Got uh, the two his and her sinks. Hello. I'm quite uh, sunburned today. Now we paid a little extra for this guy. Um, but we did not want the standard shower, so it just uh, has this nice glass on it, and it's a little bit bigger than your other showers. We got this big tub, and then toilet. Now over here, um, maybe like a, a shelf for towels, or maybe Ashley's uh, makeup station. Who knows what it'll be. And we also paid just a little extra for these windows up here to let in some natural light. So apparently up under the house they have these jacks that they are going to use to um, even this out. Because it's off by at least an inch there. Maybe more. Okay, so this tiled area over here is our um, dining room. We've got this great sliding glass door here that I intend on putting a porch out here. Um, so it'll not be a five foot drop down there. So over here is pantry space. A nice size pantry. We actually extended this in the design because it was like uh, only a door's width. So that's a nice thing to have. I'm going to have to square up some stuff a little bit. Uh, sorry I missed this bedroom in here. So there's two identical bedrooms like this. Real small. Um, but definitely be nice if we ever have kids one day. So closet in there. Yeah, so. Now for the kitchen. So we got uh, all these nice dark cabinets in here. Let's see if I can open one. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how those open. Um, a big sink. Plastic. Interesting. So I got one of those hose sprayers. Not tighten all that stuff down. So uh, we did get an island here in the middle. That'll be really handy. Some nice lights hanging down. Um, this is one of the main things we wanted in our house. A dishwasher. 
So we've got that. Take care of all of our dish needs. Ah, cool. One of those uh, spinning cabinets there. That's fun. Kind of microwave slash range. Um, it's very fancy. Flat surfaced stove. I like that a lot. And then uh, it's a typical oven. Now, walking around this corner here, we've got several doors. This is going to be my office, so you'll probably see me in here a lot. Um, it's just like that other room, except the door's on the side instead of back there. And uh, nice closet space. And I just really like how I can see people coming up the road and uh, can check out over the garden and uh, whatever farm animals we decide to have. So walking out this way, we've got a bathroom. So we've got the uh, same sink as in there, toilet, and the regular shower, and then uh, the nice window up there as well. Okay, now originally this wall uh, was not here. It was just open into this family room. And we decided to put a door here, and that way it can be Ashley's library slash office. So it's the biggest place in the house, except for maybe our master bedroom. And so she likes uh, books, so I'm going to probably put a bookshelf on that wall. And then she's going to have the desk that I'm building her over here. Um, so very exciting. Next, we've got our other spare bedroom. It's going to be here. Um, now here was an issue where this um, window kind of got uh, jarred around some in the move. So we're going to have to reset this one, I believe. Um, nice size closet over here. And the last room. Let me see if I can open this door. Give us a little light in here. There's the breaker box. And this is hot water heater over here. We didn't go with the uh, newer kind that's energy efficient. Um, maybe one day we can do that. Now, I wanted this uh, kind of special. It is a utility sink. Um, you know, if we want to give Wally a bath or clean something that's dirty. I can just walk straight in from out here and take care of that. So definitely something I needed to have to keep the house from getting nasty. Now this I think is the furnace. Yeah, so we won't mess with that. And then uh, we're gonna have the upright uh, washer dryer in this space. Well, that concludes our house tour. I uh, can't wait for the guys to get in here and really start polishing off all these moving blemishes. So hopefully they will do a good job with all of that. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. Be sure to push that like, subscribe, and uh, check out all the other videos in this series. There's a bunch of them. See you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching this Modular Home series. If you live in the Western North Carolina area and you're looking to purchase a modular home of your own, I highly recommend you check out Home Crafters. We're pleased with our purchase and they've been real good to us. Also, they have a nice referral program. So mention Seth and Ashley and we'll all get a nice kickback from that. So I will put a link to them in the description for you to check out. If you've enjoyed this video, I highly recommend you click over here or the link in the description to the next part. And uh, as always, remember to push that thumbs up button and subscribe because lots of videos on the way. Hope to see you there. Bye.